Okay, new episode. Here we have an example of a question where we have uh, ordinary simple annuity and then compound interest. So suppose you invest $180 at the end of every three months for three years into an account earning 6% compounded quarterly. That is the annuity part. So after three years, you leave the money without making additional deposits for another 18 years, earning interest at 6% compounded quarterly. Answer the following questions and round all answers to two decimal places if necessary. All right, so let's start for the annuity part. So it's $180. If you wish, we could put that in here. We're contributing $180. At the end of every three months, that means CY4. The compounding is quarterly. So that means that CY is also 4. We let the calculator calculate N. So we leave that for now. The interest rate is 6%. So we put in, put in the 6 in there. Present value would be zero, and we are computing the future value. Okay, so there we are. All right, so let us begin by doing that part of the computation. So second IY, PY is four. So enter four for PY, and that will also be the value for CY. So let's quit CY and CY, and let's come to N. Now, how long is this for? This is for three years. So we input the three, second N, N. So N turns out to be 12. Three times four is what's giving us that 12. Now, IY is percent so i y is six okay present value is zero payment is one hundred and eighty dollars one eight zero negative payment and then we compute the future value so future value turns out to be two thousand three hundred and forty seven dollars and forty two cents how much will you have in the account after 21 years? Well, you're getting the 21 years because you have three years and then you have 18, so three plus 18, all right? But when you're calculating N here, you will use 18 years and you multiply by some number. All right, what is PY? Well, there is no more, no more deposits. Okay, so it's left in the account after three years, you leave the money without making additional deposits. So what does that mean? It means that PMT will become zero. This is as we did previously with compound interest. All right, now, so PY, so CY is what? Well, the interest is 6% compounded quarterly. All right. So we will put four for CY, and that will have to be the same value for PY because it's compound interest. So the number here is really 18 times four, and that will probably give us a number looking like, uh, I think it'll look like 72. Anyway, but we will see what will happen. Interest rate is still 6%, right? 6% compound is quarterly. So we still have six in here. And the present value now is what? Well, it's this amount of money right here. The future value from the previous three years becomes the, <coughs> excuse me, please, becomes the present value for the compound interest part of the calculation. Okay, so there we are. Now we can do what we need to do. Now, the easiest thing to do is to take this future value here and click on present value and enter it into the calculator. 
All right. So if you look here, PY is 4, CY is 4, just like it was up here. So we really don't need to do anything with them, but we can check. Second IY, PY is 4, and so is CY. And then we can quit out of there. Now, the number of years, we have to take the 18 years now. So we go 18, and then we go second, N, N. So the number is correct. 72 is the right number. That should be there for N. Now, IY is still 6. So you recall IY, and there it is, 6. And the present value, we enter that, but we can go and check to make sure it's 2347.42. Payment is now zero. Remember previously, payment was 180. So now it is zero, and there we enter the zero. And now we will compute the future value, and there it is. It will be negative because the present value is positive. So 6857.18. And hopefully that is correct. And it looks like all is well. And there we are. So this question, it combined uh, a ordinary simple annuity with compound interest. That ends this episode.